Behind me is one of the most beautiful rear kitchen fifth wheels in the entire planet. The fit and finish of this RV is absolutely stunning. This is the 2024 Keystone Alpine model 3910RK. We're gonna be taking a look at all the features of the outside and inside, and we're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video today will and i we are taking you along to show you everything good and bad about this keystone alpine so make sure you guys stick around till the end to figure out what we like and what we don't like about it before i begin gotta say hi to will hey will hey guys how's it going today it's going good it is a beautiful day here in florida and i'm so excited to take a look at this alpine alpine was one of the first fifth wheels that really got me enjoying fifth wheels that yes like yes weird. But um, at our old stomping grounds, you know, this was the high end luxury, the nicest fifth wheel we had. And it's even nicer here today because it has full body paint. Well, it sure is. And I'm really excited to show everybody. You ready? Yeah. Let's begin. All right. Model is 3910RK, the Alpine. The actual tip tip length is 42 feet, 11 inches. This is the Keystone Alpine. It is their top of the line product. It's sister products with the Keystone Montana. Yep. Dry weight is 13,920 pounds. Hitch weight, 2,780 pounds. It's 54 gallons of fresh water, 83 gallons of both black and gray water. Will, this is a big old beast of a This thing. is, it really is. You need to have a one ton truck for this bad boy. Beautiful painted fiberglass front cap with the LED light shift there and the uh, patented hitch vision right there. Okay. And I say that because the beautiful painted fiberglass front cap is standard but this has the optional full body. Right, paint, right. Which the whole thing is painted. Right here, you got your road armor trailer pin box from Lippert. And then down here, Sir William, we got a cutout. For a generator. Yes, sir. Okay. And then here is your storage, or not storage, but you got your solar charge control and your hydraulic reservoir for your slide outs and auto leveling. Okay. Now, Will, look, look at these new uh, Lippert Oh yeah, those are cool. It, it is a six point hydraulic auto leveling. Okay. But Lippert looks like they're doing this thing to kind of replace the, um, so you don't need the snap pads yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Interesting, I wonder how that's gonna work out. Again, beautiful full body paint job. Power awning with LED lights there. Okay. So on the slide out. And you got speakers on the outside there. And then check out these slam latch doors. Okay. Love that. You got battery right there. And then here. We have, oh, nice, a nice TV on the outside. Capital Grill cooktop. Nice. And then a drawer right there. Very cool. nice. Yeah. And then this does. The, it's got the little clothes. clippies, yep. Just like that. Right over here, you can see that it's drop frame. So you got huge storage yes, right there. Yes, you do. And right there is the electronic components for your in command. We will talk about that later on in the video. Okay. Love how it says Alpine. I do Love too. Love the new text this of it as paint well. paint job overall, it's just really nice. Sheesh! Looks fantastic. Coming on down, <laughs> Lippert screen assist. Nice. To make it easier to get in and out of the travel trailer. Okay. Prep for the Furion side marker lights. I think there's something else too on that door, right? Right What's there? What's that? What's this for? Uh, oh, it's got that new uh, like extended handle thing. Yes, also love this as well. Yep. That way, you know, like Will has big hands, you know. Yep. So that way you can open it. And then here, you got the air support solid steps. Okay. Easy breezy. Nice big ha grab handle to get on. And then right there, you do got the polar package, extended season protection right there. Heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. Okay. Coming on down. Look at these tires, Will. They're the Saloons. I love those. ST 235-80R16 with the Road Armor uh, Lippert suspension right there. Very nice. Here's what makes this floor plane nice, Will. A second entry door. This is to the rear kitchen. This way you can get to the kitchen with your slide out closed. Okay, hey, open that door all the way. Because I remember something about this floor plane. Yeah, dumb. What's up? Now put your slide in. Well, yeah, just don't put your, don't. Easy, Will, easy, Will. I don't, no, I just, it's it. in my opinion, it's accident waiting to happen. When people have the dog tie downs, 
could you drive off with your dog attached to your fifth wheel? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. It's hard to overlook that, in my opinion. This, it's like you accidentally leave the door open. Hey, I'm not going to supersede your lights okay. and dislikes. We'll talk about it a little okay. bit later. Coming around the back, watch out for fire ants. Well, I know. Uh, we do have a 3,000 pound hitch with a four pin connector. So technically you can tell behind this. We never recommend that. And it is prepped for the backup camera. And here's the optional full body paint job. Colors. Yeah, those actually look nice. Yep, they all do. So this is the blue slate on this one. <laughs> I'd be happy with any of them. Yeah. There's fire ants there, Will. <clears throat> right over there, Will, that's a 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. Okay. Place to dump your gray tank. This, I don't know what that is. That's probably the docking station? Yes, 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 docking. Do you have an M key on you? Uh, hey, what? I have key to like, so probably one won't key. work. Does not rule them off. Guess it does not. There's no way that's the docking station, though. Nope. Is it? It's the uh, pull valves. Ah, okay. Yep. Right there. Yeah, no, because they used the Nautilus. Yeah, I was going to say. Instant hot tankless water heater there. Okay. That's where you dump your black and gray tank. Right. I do love how they painted that, too. Exactly. And then here is the storage. And then here is your Nautilus. There it is. Cool. Well, actually, I lied. This isn't the Nautilus. It's not, but... But it's still concept. very, very nice. Very clean, very organized. Potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection, tank flushes and everything. Nice little shower port. Okay. And then this is going to be a propane tank. Oh, it's right locked. here. This just, just just propane. Yep. Easy breezy. It's funny. I didn't think they could. Um, I, I didn't think they were allowed to put locks on propane tanks. Well, you saw it here first. And then you're. Uh, yep. This is the uh, auto level. Correct. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great, but I'm telling you. It is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Take a look, Will. All right. Right about now, Funk Show Brother. Check it out now. All right. We'll start all the way up front. You have this nice bathroom here. Very nice bathroom, actually. Bedroom right next to that. And then coming downstairs, you have the half bath. And then your living area, dining area, and kitchen all back here. Now, Will, I really want your input on this fifth wheel. Okay. Will owns a grand design. Will owns an Alliance Paradigm 382RK which is the same floor plans. So when Will talks about his likes and dislikes, same with me, we're gonna we're not comparing it to the RV industry. Right. We're comparing it to his exact unit. Yep, you know actual saying? use. So that, that's gonna be a big input. Will's actually gonna get started with that rear kitchen, but first, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. And we're back. Will? Yeah? One thing I want to tell everybody, we don't have the lights on in here. We do not. And I will say it's light and bright, but we'll also talk about that later. There's lights there and there's lights there. Why are they on and all the other ones are off? You guys are going to have to stick around and see. Okay. Will, talk to us about this kitchen. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Tell me something good. <laughs> nice storage. Now, what's really nice is Alpine uses all wood cabinetry, hardwood. Uh, so this cabinetry is going to hold up really well for you. 
nice convection microwave. And then coming down, you have solid surface countertops. They look very, very nice. Huge window here, which I, I think helps with all the lighting. Like there's a lot of good windows in here. Yep. Nice extension faucet, double bowl sink here, storage underneath. Oh. <clears throat> hey, that's $176 trash can. Sure is. And then you do have a nice big four burner insignia cooktop. I do like how they're giving you a convection microwave, but still a nice big oven here. Nice. Residential size. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. <laughs> Storage up top here. Okay. And this little corner over here. Very nice. And then again, solid surface countertops, very nice backsplash. And then drawers all the way down. Two and three. And the bottom one's a nice big drawer. And then. Oh, nope. Ah, nope. oh, dang it. Almost. Yep. Nice uh, pantry space here. Okay. And then nice storage, like huge storage actually. Man. Above the refrigerator, which is a Samsung refrigerator here. Looks nice and big. And then you do have the freezer underneath with the double drawers, ice maker, all that good stuff. All right, Sir William. That's a nice kitchen. It is. All right. That wraps up the kitchen. Coming on down, we do have a nice dinette. Hey, well, are these yours? They are. They're nice. Where'd you yeah. get them from? You got them for me your on the cruise. Friend, your best friend bought them for you. Yep. Check out this dinette. Okay, a little tight right here. Believe it or not, actually more space on that side. Normally, it's the opposite way around. Yeah. Um, You know, you got the table extension. Nice window balances all the way around. Okay. You got your daytime screens and privacy blinds yeah. right there. That's nice, too. You do have va uh, the balances, which is cloth, wood, and another type of like cloth. Like almost like a... Leather. Yeah, they're going for like the leather look, but... Yep, very nice. There's the daytime lights as well. Okay. And then coming on into the living room, before we do, I do want to mention that it does have very nice flush floors. It does. Okay. Flush floor slides. Yes, flush floor slides. Three sofas just like yours. This one right here is recliners. Yep. Okay. There you go. The Thomas Payne collection. Yep. That right here and this right here behind you, these are both sofas. Okay. The thing is, these are both trifold sofas. Yes. So these come on out and make a bed. They're very nice. Windows all the way around. Again, beautiful, beautiful. Lots of good stuff going on. And then right here, well, is your entertainment center. Yep. You got the TV right there. Little bit of storage there. Definitely not much at all. And an inner flame fireplace. What is nice about that fireplace, well, is that it does produce heat from electricity. Okay. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. You ready for this? Yeah. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $142,126, Will. That is MSRP, and that's for this unit here with the full body paint. Sale price, Miss Jen, please put the sale price right there. Call Cosmo, find out what the sale price is and list it there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Will, yeah, I don't care what that sale price is. I know we can get everybody a lot better deal than that. So if you're interested in buying this unit, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. And they will get you one thing and one thing only. And that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Also, everybody who does buy an RV, send me an email. Matt at mattsrvreviews.com if you bought in the year 2024 from general rv i'll mail you a prime poop position bobblehead okay just like that there you go well let's check out this half bath all right so this one's very nice and i'll tell you right now whoa this oh. is prep for a stackable washer and dryer. it is i love that will's bathroom toilet's kind of out of order right now so it's very nice how they do have a half bath it is yeah very similar to this unit nice half bath here solid surface countertop 
and then storage underneath here. Okay? Nice. Nice toilet on a great angle. It is, though. yeah. This is primer than yours. Both are Prime's pooping positions, but this is one of the primest of pooping positions. Bing! Especially for a half bath. <clears throat> Very nice, Will. Okay. Wrap it on up with that master bedroom. Okay. Up here in the master bedroom, very similar to ours. Uh, oh, except we do have double slides. Okay. But I feel like this is a deeper slide, so it's not, you know, it still feels pretty open. Nice headboard, windows on both sides, king size bed, and then you do have nightstands with uh, just power okay. on my side. Okay, and lift this up. Okay. Let's see if there's storage under here. Very nice. Yep, there's the inserts to the sink. And then you do have a nice big window, TV. What do we have? Uh, five drawers here. Wow. All the way down. A nice spot to tie your shoes and a little bit of storage under that. Nice. And what he means is you plop your butt there so you can tie yep. your shoes. There you go. All right, well, go stand in that shower. America wants to know, Thanks does that. he fit? It's an encore shower. Plenty of width and depth. And they put the skylight in the right spot, right in the middle. This definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Well, does he fit? Of course he fits. Right. Right here we got tons of storage. Okay. Very big and spacious. Good place for shoes, hanging your clothes. And then over here we got double vanity. This was important to Will and Jen. Yeah. And there you no, you don't no. have double sink. No. We oh. don't feel like we need double vanity. Oh, well, I mean, it wasn't sinks. important. I'm sorry. No, but like the I'm amount sorry. of counter space was more important got it there you go right over here we have nice medicine cabinet okay with liquefied our brand of rv toilet tank treatment guys pick some up at primepoopingposition.com well we got some exciting announcements coming out in the next few weeks i know it is exciting solid surface countertops there okay storage <clears throat> Hey, that's another $178 trash can. Okay. Tons of storage in this bathroom, Well, Yeah, for sure. That's a deep drawer here. It is. There it is. And then more storage there. There you go. And then right over here, well, I don't know. This doesn't look like it's as prime as that half bath. Here's the thing, Well, Yeah. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Okay. Here's what I will say. Barely passes, huh? Well, I'm not touching. Okay. Straight up, it's a pass. But my peripherals... I'm making you if feel... If we had a fifth P for peripherals, I don't know if it would pass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not part of the bylaws, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things that we love about this unit, three things that we don't like about it, Will. What do we do first? Three things we love. First. Sure. Okay. I'm going to start first if you okay. don't mind. I'm going to say this bathroom. Yeah. This is why people love this. It's phenomenal. It's awesome. I love the shower. Love all the countertop space. Love that how I can get naked in here. You know what I'm yep. saying? I just want to get naked in here. Okay. And just get naked. Naked. No, I'm just kidding. But um, no, it's it's a bathroom you can actually get naked. Get get. Get naked. I can't stop thinking. <laughs> what I mean is you take your clothes off, you get dried, and you can put them back on. Right. All in the bathroom. So many times, RVs, you got to like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's like, like yeah, no, I can remember in our old RV, like you kind of had to wrap a towel around you, go into the bedroom. Because you can't get dressed in Yeah, there's exactly. not a lot of room. Exactly. Naked. <laughs> that is love number one. Well, what's love number two? Love number two, and I'm still kind of thinking through this, but I think I love it. Uh, I love how the uh, washer and dryer is in the half bath. Okay. And not taking up your closet space. Why is that? Just more closet space. doesn't feel so tight mm. in there. And also, um, when it's in the closet, it's kind of like tucked in more, and I feel like it's like tight in, in the closet for you trying to load clothes and get the detergent and all that. Where that's like kind of more in the open, so. I love it, that's okay. number two. And then Will, do you mind if I do number three? Sure. Even though I said you're gonna give your input, but I, I, I know what you're gonna say. That's why I want your input. Okay. Compared to yours, I love how this living room's a little longer, 
Oh, yeah. I don't know why it's longer, but I know it is longer. Uh Uh-huh. And I love that second door to the kitchen right there. Okay. Really helps with the flowometry in here. Yes. That's three things you love about it. Now it's time for three things you don't like about it. Will, go first. Okay. I'm going to say I'm not super crazy about this kitchen design, if that makes sense. Nope, it doesn't. So why don't you explain it? There's not a lot of countertop space in here. Ah. Um, you know, you're stuck right here <coughs> and you're kind of like up against the uh, pantry. See, like in ours, we don't have the door, which is a con, but then your pantry's there. So mm. you have more countertop space. And it's just the rear kitchens tend to feel a little tighter, a little more claustrophobic. I will say the door does help a lot with that, though. Okay. That is dislike number one. Yeah. Dislike number two, well, for me, is going to be the in-command system, which is what we're running on right now. We cannot get these main lights on, and we cannot get the slide-outs in and out because it's a uh, electronic iPad style of yeah. computer. Nothing's wrong with that, but there's no manual buttons. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, we couldn't find anything. And don't get to... me wrong, there's probably one on like the in-command system when you climb into the fifth wheel. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah. What I mean is, these lights, I believe... You can turn on and off within command, but I can also hit a switch. Yep. Can you hear that? Yep. You having fun there? All I want to do is hit a switch and get naked. All you know right. What I'm saying? In an RV. That is dislike number two. And then, well, dislike number three. Okay, dislike number three, I hate how... I'm going to combo Ooh. because since you were kind of downplaying my dislike... Uh, I hate how the door is like that. I feel like you could scratch the paint if the door was open and you put the slide out. Or I feel like you could damage the slide and the door if you missed the door uh, being open all the way and it got caught. Also, I'm going to say there's a huge lack of storage in here just in general. Like, we struggle with that. But we have storage here and we have storage here. Um, ah, okay. And I feel like there's storage somewhere else. So, um yeah yeah hey out of a fifth wheel out of straight out of the mouth of a rear kitchen owner that's right out of a rear kitchen fifth wheel owner that's right guys that's it that's a review thank you guys so much for watching if you're interested in buying this alpine or any rv please go to generalrv.com slash mats cash We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Will, and a member of our team will reach out to you and get you the absolute best price in America. Will? That's right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, Alpine, and uh, I think it's a very beautiful fifth wheel. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And we'll we'll see you next time.